All right, folks, here's a really cool tool. Going to be a very quick uh, video here. Everybody that's got a pit bull stand and you take your wheels off to take them to cycle gear, get the tire swapped or whatever. You know, if you're going to a shop where they take the wheel off, that's fine. But if you have to take your wheel off, you'll be changing chain sprockets, get the wheel changed, things like that, uh, tire. This is a must have for your pit bull stand. It's called the pit crew something or another. What this does, if you've taken a wheel off, you know that the biggest problem of getting the rear tire off is trying to hold everything. You loosen the axle nut, you slide the axle out, and then it's a juggling act because you're trying to hold the wheel steady with one hand so it doesn't start flopping around. Um, you've got to remove the caliper, you got spacers in there. You can usually get the wheel off without much trouble. Trying to get this back on with two hands. You're trying to lift the wheel up because you got a big gap under there. Trying to hold it and slide it in, get the chain over the sprockets, not knock loose those little spacers that are in there while you're trying to get the disc in the caliper without knocking the caliper off of the track. You literally got like five, six moving parts as you're trying to hold a 30 pound tire and wheel combination um, and then line it all up while holding with one hand and then trying to put the axle through to lock everything in place. Depending on the bike, it can be a major pain in the ass. So you saw how I just snapped that thing in from Pitbull. Put that in, crank this, and right now it's pressing against that tire. So you snug it up just hand tight. So right now, I'm not gonna go through all this because I have brand new tires and don't need to do this right now. But if I were to then take this out, that wheel's just gonna basically sit there. <laughs> And then I just take a, you know, move the caliper off. It holds it in place, perfectly aligned. Doesn't let it fall. Then, because sometimes what happens is, if you if you don't catch the wheel in time, the wheel will start to fall, and then this might bang in and you know scratch up your rim or whatever up in there. So basically, it'll hold everything in place, and then you can roll it forward, unloop your chain, and then just roll it straight back and out. And then when you go to put the wheel back in, it's just a ramp. It holds it at the same level, you know, as long as you don't move it since you took the wheel off. You just roll it back in and it's automatically gonna roll it in at the right height. You can then hold it straight because you're not trying to hold the weight. You just align it properly so that the spacers slide in properly. Throw your caliper on, slide in your, your, uh, your axle, and tighten her up. This is gonna make wheel changes a hell of a lot better. And it's not unique to the bike, it's unique to the stand. So it just, it's made by Pitbull. It was 99 bucks with a two day FedEx shipping. So I think it was like 10, yeah, 10 bucks for shipping. The part was 89, but it just pops on. I can use it on that bike. I can use it on any bike. So as long as I've got swing arm spools to lift it, or if not, I can flip this over and lift it up underneath the swing arm if I have a bike that doesn't have swing arm spools. But either way, that just snaps on and you can adjust it so you're not limited by you know certain tire sizes or height or whatever you can just adjust that it's almost like a scissor jack and when you're done you lower it so it's not making contact with the wheel and then you just go ahead and pop that bad boy off so it does snap on and clamp pretty good with the rubber uh I guess it's like a hard plastic, like Delrin or something like that. But it'll keep it in place so it doesn't move around, but you can pop it off. And I've got my front wheel on a wheel chock, so I don't have to worry about trying to do this one-handed. And now I can just go, boom. And there we go. Very simple. This will be worth its weight in gold. I cannot count how many times I've been putting a tire on a bike. Some bikes are okay. Others like that damn Triumph. There's like a millimeter of space to work with. If your wheel is at all crooked, either this way or that way, if it's off even a little bit while you're trying to hold it, which, you know, you're at an awkward angle, you try to hold that up without it moving and slide it into place without it catching any of the damn spacers and knocking them off, and then you can pull it out, put the space back in, start over. It takes like 15 times. And when you try to do all that and get the axle through, usually has me cursing up a storm. <laughs> and saying there's gotta be a better way to do this. Well, there is. Go get this quick pit crew thing, whatever. I'll put a link in there to Pitbull. But for 99 bucks shipped, this is going to be a game changer for ease of use of getting wheels off. Um, it's pretty much for the single, you know, the, for the double uh, 
side swing arms. It's not going to work. I don't know if there is one for Ducati or Triumphs or I guess MV Agusta, anybody that uses a single-sided swing arm. I think it's for this one only. Um, but when you've got a single-sided swing arm, you don't have any of those problems because you have one bolt on one side. There is no swing arm. You got one giant nut, like a, like a Formula One car, like a 55-inch socket you know, nut. Go get a socket from Northern Tool or Harbor Freight for like 20 bucks, and you take that off, and the wheel just goes gunk. <laughs> it just slides off, um, and it doesn't touch the sprocket. It doesn't touch anything. So nothing that has to be realigned or tightened. It just just goes on. So I guess you don't need it for that. So that makes sense. But anyway, I'll cut this short here. Um, just wanted to give you an idea of what it is and how it works. These are awesome. You need to get one if you got a pit bull stand.